This is the story of one fearless tune who will stop at nothing to become the greatest tune who ever lived. But this one day, he was to face his toughest challenge ever, the Vice President. He overcame many troubles, but nothing could prepare him for what he was about to encounter. This is the story of when he fought through thick and thin to overcome his troubles. But this story also documents the times where it didn't go so well for him. We'll be following his every footstep in the story of Kong versus the VP. So Kong was just looking around Cellboat HQ on a normal day and sees this mouse with a viking helmet for reasons we don't understand oh, oh um that, well, this is awkward because I don't know who you are um, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just it's like so as Kong waits to go in the VP a dinosaur runs past before Kong enters he is squished by a glad hander and then he enters the third door from the left once he gets in, however, he can clearly see there is just one door. Cause that's so logical! And these disguises, whew, there's something else. As if the VP wouldn't realise that we're tunes in disguise. I mean, look at that! Yeah, cause that totally isn't a giveaway that that is a tune in disguise. Totally. No. No, no, I'm fine with that. No. So we're in. He hasn't spotted us yet. And then the horse blabs to him! Oh yeah, no, it's fine, horse. No, that's no, fine. Yeah, with your mouth sticking through the cage, that's fine. Yeah, anything else you want to give away while you're at? How about a copy of my biography? How about my uh, my bank account details or my mother's maiden name? Yeah, anything else you want to spoil while you're at? Any more secrets you got about me that you want to give away? Yeah, yeah, you stupid horse. So the VP gives birth to a cog and then... Us toons are forced to kill his firstborn child. Isn't this game just lovely? So the three of the toons use fire hose. One uses lure. The lure missed and the cog strikes back. And this is where things get crazy. So, an orange mouse complains about needing more life points. The green mouse on the right decides to combat this with a tune up. It's a megaphone. It's better than nothing. I use lure. I decide this is a bad idea, and change the sound, quickly. The blue dog, however, does nothing. Uh-oh. It's gonna be one of them days. So before we dismiss the blue dog as a greener, I decided to continue for a little while. So, what does the blue dog do in this round? He uses a bike horn. <laughs> I'm not gonna copy Coach Z, but seriously, a bike horn. He then pulls it back, not even using the bike horn, which may have helped in a little way. I use Elephant Trunk, which does absolutely nothing. All four cogs are still standing, and the orange mouse uses a uh, fruit pie, which misses. Rage! But again, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. He may have just been going back to choose a different gag and not had enough time to pick which one he wants. Nope, no, 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 there's no denying this. This guy is a genuine greener. Oh, and what a surprise. He goes to be right back. Oh, this is going to be a long day. The orange mouse then, for some reason, decides to pass. Because that's the obvious thing to do in this case. Pass. Yeah. So basically, it's me alone against the cogs. Well, this guy randomly tunes up people who aren't even going to bother to fight. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! So the big cog strikes back and the green mouse goes sad. Well, at least there's still two other people on my team. And this orange mouse seems to have tuna. Oh! Oh no, that's true. No, oh, well, that's great. No, 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 it's fine. Just leave me alone with the greener. No, I'll, I'll manage. Yeah, yeah, no, don't worry about me. Save yourself. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah! This guy is going to be the... What's this? He's using Lua. Um, did I just... Did I... Did, no. No, I, 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 I mustn't blame myself. Two Lua's against more than one cog. What the heck? Now let's just take a look at this genuine display of cruelty, okay? This guy passes, I lure the cogs. Next turn, I decide to use a pixie dust on the guy. Again, he passes. The guy couldn't care less and passes next turn while I use a seltzer bottle on the Mr. Hollywood, which takes it out. The guy passes. So great, here we are with three more cogs. I'm quite low on life, but they're all lured, so I should be able to take them out quite easily. Now, as you know, I don't get very angry easily. Well, okay, I do. But when someone uses a bike horn on three lured cogs, obviously I'm going to get a little bit annoyed, okay? So, I'm going to go off camera for a while and rage. Prospects certainly look bleak for Kong, who is now on two laugh. But thankfully, that sound, salvation, they were about to arrive. The tunes from the other side of the battle came to save me. The guy passed. But before the tunes joined to see that he was passing, he pulled it back. Thankfully, someone used juggling balls and hey, what's he saying? The bear was greening like crazy. Oh, now that's a new law. That is, this, this t okay, okay, you know what, you, you know what, you know what, guys, we have officially met the biggest, the biggest noob in Toontown. This guy is going to be the death of me. He kept using sound on lured cogs? He kept using sound on lured cogs? Then what was this? You using a bike horn on three lured cogs? What are the tunes leaves? Because that's going to help the situation. But Kong knows that hope is not lost. He's with four other tunes. He can complete this VP. May we have a silent prayer for Carson, who didn't make it out alive. He is stuck with the greener. To keep it short. Basically. The two tunes over the other side did not make it out alive. But we were not those tunes! And we were able to defeat all of the cogs that this evil boss had thrown at us. We had conquered him, but the battle was far from over. Far, far from over. Kong was no match for the VP. He was defeated within minutes of entering the battle. This sent Kong into a state of depression over the next few months. He refused to talk to any tune in relation to the incident. Then came the event that changed Kong's life. He was involved in a hit and run incident at Goofy Speedway. We have some CCTV footage of the incident. Watch him, you know, behave this way. Kong was absolutely devastated. He didn't know what he was doing. I mean, we tried to get him back fighting Cogs again, but he wasn't having it. He just, he just, he just, he just wasn't having it. He did not want to know. This person has deliberately had their face hidden to protect their identity. When I saw Kong behaving this way for the first time, I was very, very scared. But then I just remembered what my great uncle Phil told me. Where there's a way, there's a will. And when there's a will, there's a bill. And when there's a bill, it's usually on the head of a duck. So what I'm trying to say here is that I was very, very scared about Kong. But eventually, thanks to his persuasive friends, Kong eventually plucked up enough courage to go back and fight the VP one more time. But then in the elevator, Kong saw that Viking helmet and brought back vivid flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> 